Good morning, folks. Two days ago in the morning news, these were the solar flaring readings. The story was that a solar flaring uptick was imminent. And so far, we've seen a steady rise up in two separate larger energy events, including an M-class blast this morning from that same central sunspot group. It does not appear that a CME accompanied the flash of X-ray energy, but a radio blackout did ensue atop Indonesia and Australia, minor and short-lived. The three newest sunspot groups leading the pack remain magnetically simple, separated, while the big flare maker remains bipolar at the trailing portion, complexity builds there and the lead positive umbra becomes isolated. More flares coming, especially with the arrival of this grouping. She became visible yesterday afternoon and now begins turning onto the earth-facing disk. Solar wind of the last three days shows the ramp up in particle speed and plasma temperature, in yellow and green. Even with the density falling off a bit, the stream added energy into Earth's system, so even without instability or storm conditions, Earth's magnetic shield is up out of bed and on guard. Venus and Mars are heliocentrically conjoined, and now Mercury heads in to conjoin the Sun geocentrically, pushing this flare uptick. Meanwhile, it also begins the earthquake factor ramp, and the coronal holes are on point with them. Red negative opening down south, turning in and taking Earth from positive to negative near space influence. You can see the southern opening over in 211 angstroms. As this was taking place last night, a brief but powerful upsurge in coronal hole force could be seen in both the northern and southern openings. Within minutes, the West Pacific began shaking, with the USGS pegs as a 6.1 actually rang much higher on the full readings list. With Jupiter opposing the Sun in one week, you can expect the earthquakes to stick around a while. As we said yesterday, two Uyen storms remain in the Indian Ocean, cyclones intensifying, and something else interesting, a perfect earth spot penumbra situation at the outside of the cyclones. The center pointing lines wrapping around the central node are like the earth spot penumbras to the central storm umbra. Speaking of storms, winter storm has been pounding the northeast, even briefly shutting down a nuclear plant due to power disruption. The system is moving offshore but still relevant in New England while the next winter disaster is coming together in the central states. Even after the current storm leaves, we've got at least two more lining up right behind it to make a run. In Europe, the primary note is the strong wind flow at the convergence area on the eastern edge of the North Atlantic low, much stronger than usual. We also have a few lows to the south. Following tonight's watch zones puts those areas, especially the convergence, on full alert. Down under. The same colliding air masses around the north remain to keep the downpours coming, but we also now have a low kicking up just off the North Island of New Zealand. That area will join in the weather mix today, some thunderstorm warnings. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.05 a.m. in the West. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.